Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to Inner Tribal Styles. My name is Larissa, and today I'm just going to be doing a really quick tutorial. Well, I don't know if you want to call it a tutorial. Basically, I'm going to be packing these um, headdress earrings, and I'm going to show you how I package earrings with fingernail posts. Um, and I just figured I would share because some another beater on Facebook shared this with me and I thought it was genius because normally what I do with headdress earrings is I put them in a box or I wrap them in bubble wrap. But what can happen is like the fingernail posts can break and someone shared an idea to use foam in between so I'm gonna do that right now and if you're interested in you know learning how to package not that it's like that hard but learning how to package earrings with fingernail posts or if you just want to see how I do it then just keep on watching <laughs> my foam sheets into little tiny squares basically I bought some foam from Walmart I will link it down below if I can find it online but you can use any type of foam and what I'm doing is I'm showing you um, one earring with two little foam squares and then one just with one and I am just putting my earrings inside of the box um, basically, I put the foam in between the um, sharp part of the earring and the clasp, and then I just clasp it on. I don't pull it too tight. Basically, I don't want my um, sharp part of the earring to poke through the foam. And then once I put my earrings in the box, I am just putting the little foam that's included in the box on top of the earrings. This part is actually extra, you do not need to do this if you are using a box, but I am basically adding bubble wrap. I'm going to wrap my box in the bubble wrap, and this just adds extra security to ensure that your earrings, especially your posts, do not break. <laughs> just going to package earrings but I figured I would go ahead and show you how I package my pop sockets too just because I was already doing it basically I don't add as much security for this um, but I do want to protect that gem part of the pop socket so I'm just adding bubble wrap um, on top of the pop socket I still put the pop socket into a box um, but the difference between this and the earrings is that I won't wrap my box in bubble wrap. Obviously you can if you want to, but I am not going to do that. Um, but that's basically how I, you know, package my pop sockets. That is how you package earrings, and then obviously I included, you know, packaging pop socket too. But I am really careful with packaging like earrings with fingernail posts, just because like I don't want the fingernail posts to break. Because if they break, then it's just 
harder to replace them because you have to like undo the edging you know peel off the back and once you're once it's glued it's really hard to get off because it's happened to me before and then obviously you replace the fingernail post so I just want to be extra careful when I am shipping because obviously I don't want the fingernail post to break and I want happy customers so anyway I hope that was helpful thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time